Welcome to another episode of SolidWorks for Creo Parametric Users. In this video, we're going to cover creating a brand new drawing. Before we do that, though, I want to show you a few of the different options that you have available. To access your options, you can go to the icon that looks like a gear. When I click on it, it opens up the System Options dialog box. First, we have our different default templates. And so there's a standard default template for your parts, assemblies, and your drawings. And if you read the instructions, it says that these templates are used for operations where SolidWorks does not prompt for a template and in novice mode in the new SolidWorks document dialog box. Next thing to see under the system options, we have the drawing selection up here. And so we have a bunch of different options available in here. Since this is SolidWorks and not Creo Parametric, you don't have a config.profile or a .dtl file for your detail settings. Underneath drawings, you have different options for your display style, and then area, hatch, and fill, and also some performance options. If you go to the document properties tab, we also have a detailing choice underneath here. So you have your different display filters, how you want your coordinate systems displayed, and some other different options. But that's good enough for this. Let's hit the cancel button to get out. Now let's take a look at the two methods for starting a brand new drawing. And we'll take a look at the less recommended option first. You can click on the new icon or use the keyboard shortcut of control N. And here are three choices. You have part, assembly, or drawing. Let's select drawing. Be aware that there is an advanced button down here where you could choose a different template. You can also configure your SOLIDWORKS so that you have multiple different tabs on this particular screen. But let's go back to novice mode and we have drawing selected. Then I will click the OK button and we get our sheet format size dialog box where you can choose what kind you want. Let's say I want to create a B size drawing. The preview will update in the little window. Also, there is a browse button that you can use for selecting a different template. And then we can click on the OK button in order to start it out. When you create a brand new drawing in SOLIDWORKS, it's automatically going to open up the Model View Property Manager. And be aware that in Creo Parametric, what you call a general view, well, SOLIDWORKS calls a model view. And since I had three different models open in different windows, you can select which model you want to use for creating a brand new drawing. But there's also a browse button in here. And so after we do that, we can click on the next button and then we can choose what views we want to populate on the drawing. Here's an option where you can create multiple different views and that way you can check multiple different ones in here. I'll select all three of these. Oops, accidentally deselected the first one. And if I'm happy with all these different selections, I can then hit the check mark. And our drawing is started. Okay, let's take a look at the recommended method for starting a brand new drawing. Let me go back to the model that I want to use for creating a brand new drawing. This time I am in an assembly. Let's go to the file drop down menu. And from here, you can choose to make drawing from assembly. And that's the recommended method. When I do that, we get the same sheet format size dialog box. And this time I can say, hey, for this one, I want to use a D size drawing sheet. Then I will click the OK button. And here we get the view palette on the right hand side instead. And so for this particular one, I can say, hey, maybe I want to start off with the left view. And I can drag it onto the drawing sheet where I want it to appear. And now it is on the sheet. Then you automatically get into the projected view mode. So I can say, let's create another view over here and then create another view over here. And then when I'm happy with all the different projected views, I can hit the check mark. And that way we have our drawing started off with our different views. So there's a little bit of a difference compared to Creo Parametric in that as soon as you create a drawing, you're going to automatically be prompted to place different views onto the drawing sheet.